The man whose job was so important that, of course, you're paid more than President Obama. Well, I'm afraid what we got was you. And I'm sorry, but after that performance earlier that you gave, and I don't want to be rude, but, but you know, really, you have the charisma of a damp rag and the appearance of a low-grade bank clerk. And the question that I want to ask, the question that I want to ask, that we're all going to ask, is who are you? I'd never heard of you. Nobody in Europe had ever heard of you. I would like to ask you, President, who voted for you? And what mechanism? Oh, I know democracy is not popular with you lot. And uh, what mechanism do the peoples of Europe have Mr. to remove President. you? Is this European democracy? Well, I, I sense, uh, I sense well, though, that you're competent and capable and dangerous. And I have no doubt that it's your intention to be the quiet assassin of European democracy and of the European nation states. And how I enjoyed your denouncement of communism as a dangerous ideology. And I noted the pride that you took in the fact that Hungary were the first country to take up arms against the Soviet Union. Well, 20 years after you won back your ability to govern yourself democratically, you are now part of a new political union that increasingly shows similarities with that old Soviet Union. In fact, you're going to meet lots of communists over the next six months, including the boss of the commission here, old Barroso, who was an advocate of Chairman Mao. And we haven't heard an apology. Your government has apologised for the Amritsar massacre. You've apologised for slavery. You've apologised for virtually everything. Will you please apologise for what you did as British Chancellor? When you were, when you were elected, yeah. as, uh, when you were elected as president, you said you would act as a neutral president to ensure that all sides of the debate were given their chance to have a say. If you're criticising me on the political content of what I say, then you're not doing your job as a neutral chairman. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, um, he's also a communist. Because when he was a student, it's a twofer. he was actually a supporter. No, I'm not joking. He was a supporter of Chairman Mao. Nobody believes you. Uh, this European Union is the new communism. It is power without limits. It is creating a tide of human misery. And the sooner it is swept away, the better. And what of this place? What of the Parliament? This Parliament has the ability to hold the Commission to account. I have put down a motion of censure debate on the table. I wonder whether any of you have the courage to recognise it and to support it. I very much doubt that, and I'm minded that there's a new Mrs Thatcher in Europe, and it's called Fritz, he's called Fritz Bolkestein, and he has said of this Parliament, remember he's a former Commissioner, it is not representative anymore. For the Dutch or European citizen, the European Parliament is living out a federal fantasy which is no longer sustainable. How right he is. Yeah, yeah. In Europe, there is no such thing as a European demos. There is no such thing as a real sense of European identity.